गुड न्यूज लास्ट संडे आई जस्ट स्केप फ्रॉम चैप्टर नाइन आई थिंक when i said this to gurudev gurudev said that why this is also with full of different teachings sorry the chapter 7 we should not skip like this so as per his order today i will continue chapter 7 the killing of the demon trinavrata in this chapter sri krishna's past times of breaking the card sakata bhanjana killing the asura known as trinavrata and demonstrating the entire universe within his mouth are specially described sakat banjan sakat means bull of card banjan means to break it the sakta sura was there Krishna also killed this Sakta Sura. So this prescribed this special names are there, and we have to understand what is the meaning, name of all these. Like Sakta Sura, this our body is also a vehicle, cart. And with the teaching of this Sakata Sura, there is a that this cart carrying so many things. This body is carrying different parts, working differently, differently outside and inside. The senses are there. and in this physical consciousness we see we can understand understand how these senses are influencing under the control of senses still we are not under the control of krishna consciousness we are under the control of senses sakata different material loaded on this sakata on this body load means the weight that is already heavy doesn't matter lightest or heaviest weight is weight i means whatever we have we are materially using and definitely the everything what is there so in this second we are under control of our senses action so until we don't break the custody of this all senses this asura we are in trouble with the material influence and this material existing world there is no chance 
So by killing Sakatasura Krishna also showing that we jiva in this life for what we got this human body, we have to come out in control of Sakatasura. And we need to try to be under the control of Krishna consciousness, under the guidance of our spiritual master. Under the guidance in which tradition we are, under the teachings of our Mahajans, Acharya, what they got really in their experience after doing very hard tapasya, hard austerity, forgetting their body forgetting their physical consciousness. They were only conscious and focus on Radha Radhi is what is sweet. We all know that. You all know better than me. And this issue, so I don't need to say more. The same thing with Rinavarta and demonstrating the entire universe within his mouth are especially described. Trinavart mean is also like almost the same. Trinavart. Trinavart means a, a, a kind of cyclone. It's spinning all the time. And this is Trinavart is also there on the very top of our body. This Trinavart. Always. Mm. So, 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 restless. All the time, Japa is in the hand. Krishna, Krishna, Hare, 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 Ram, 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 Hare, 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 Krishna, Hare, Krishna, Krishna, Krishna. Okay, it's going on. But while chanting this Trinavarta, very fast, faster than the speed of the rocket, going many places, thinking many different ideas. And most of the ideas to just to disturb, nothing else. The demon Trinavarta also came to do this same. And Shastra, whatever the teachings are there, they all teachings has a hidden meaning behind this. We need this. This all I knew when Gurudev discussed with me. And he told me all these things that need to clear that what is the meaning of all these things. All these demonic activities are present still today with us if we are not conscious. If we are not keeping us away or trying with our different spiritual practices practices to keeping us away, it is not possible. We cannot trust on our mind. This man, this mind is untrustable. But it is also said that if mind is like that, so why sh we should give up everything? No need to chant. No, no, no. This practice should go on. We no need to stop our practice. The encourages mood should be all always there. Mind is going. The other mind is also there saying that consciousness is also saying at the same time. And this consciousness is our Thakurji, Radhanani. Okay, if something is coming, let it come. Are you giving up? Giving up means you are leaving your practice. And what you can achieve after not doing any kind of practice? Everything in the material world, when you learn to drive car, 
And after a certain time that you have practiced to drive the car, then you are you have a perfection in to drive the car. And you just will give up that, oh no, no, I will not board, I will not go inside the car, I will not sit near the steering, hold the steering with my hand, I will not put my feet on the crit. How you will know? You will never know. The same thing that practice with no need to stop the practice. If you want to know. So this is the same thing with this. If my mind is crazy, giving you trouble, we cannot defeat mind. But we can put one small barrier that slowly, slowly, and trying to make this barrier more strong, the barrier of our practice. And one day this barrier will become the irony, a China wall. That are not any demonic activities or ideas can disturb you. To develop your spiritual life, or the same thing in material life you want to develop. Positively. Keeping the all. Virtues. Good virtues with you. Good habits with you. Really like a gentleman of society. If you want to go ahead, you want to develop, you also need this balance. Balance means this practice. When Sukhdeva Goswami saw that Maharaj Parikshit was eagerly waiting to hear about Lord Krishna past time, As a child, he was very much pleased and he continued to speak. Here the one quality of Parikshit Maharaj is there, his eagerness, his intense greed humbleness and purity is there. That's why the word used over here, Parikshit was eagerly waiting to hear about Lord Krishna's pastime as a child, not like a scholar, playing with nice words and mind is inside all these. Not like a scholar. In a spiritual world, so everything at the level of acceptance with heart and really following the path, what we listen. Simply if I sit and say, unto, anyone can read this book. But the thing that, the thing in a spiritual world, whatever you are listening, it should go inside your heart. And in a spiritual world, until the things doesn't enter your heart, nothing can change. Because this is spirituality is full of softness, mildness, very tender, fragile, very sensitive. Sweet, nectarian, all, all very smooth, all are smooth, just by touching, ting, smoother than just a petal of any rose. We drink from here. And digestion is here. Like we are drinking with our mouth and the stomach and belly is, is there. 
in spiritual world, we are drinking from here. And drinking through this, it doesn't go nearby, shortcut. It covers the long path. So the destination is here. Drinking with mouth and it's not going on your back. It's not going on your spine. It's going in your stomach. The same thing when we are drinking from here. It goes to the heart. Means it should touch the heart. And bring you deep, deep, deep. Force you to dive more and more inside. The depth of this ocean. Find out, oh, what is more? Now I fall this jewel. My God, something can be more, more down. My God, now this endless. Pratidinam Vardhaman, it is said in Sanskrit. Every day increasing. The increasing is the matter that is touching the heart. And something touches the heart, definitely person attracts. Then he start practicing. Then he start take very much interest. Goes deep more and more in the mood. And try to find out what is good for him. But if he cannot understand himself, then definitely the spiritual master is there. And ex explaining that this happened like this happened. Like, what should I do? Then spiritual master show with a proper light. Let's see. In the slide, you can see very clearly what is needed for you. <laughs> he was very much pleased and he continued to speak. And this nature of Parikshit Maharaj pleased to Sukhdev Goswami. Because the Guru nature the person who is like his individual habits, he like the same habit kind or same kind of people. Sukhdev Goswami Maharaj finding at the level of eagerness or the greedness, the same kind of greedness is there. What is greedness in Sukhdev Goswami? So Sukhdev Goswami can see this very nicely that the same kind of greedness is there in Parikshit. As much it is in my me. And this make, made him pleased that someone is there that who can understand me. Why? The person is speaking. Who will understand? The same minded person will only understand. Other will not. The language of a devotee only devotee can understand and non-devotee cannot understand. The language of Vaishnava only Vaishnava can understand. Non-Vaishnava mm -hmm. has nothing to do, he will not never understand until he doesn't come on the mainstream, on the way of this kind of practice or lifestyle. When Sri Krishna was only three months old, and was just trying to turn backside up. Before he even attempted to crawl. Mother Yashoda wanted to observe a ritualistic ceremony with her friends for the good fortune of the child. Just three months old. Even this is very difficult to crawl in this in this uh, the age of any child. They were just pushing and backward and trying to turn left or right side. And while this going back side, he attempted to crawl also. So all these activities of Krishna, Mother Yashoda wanted to see. 
it happens in india that the first time a baby when turns and crawl so movement when the baby can move before and now the time came and the movement happening in the baby's body at that time there are some rituals that oh my baby it's someone's baby the first time he does crawl like this or he just put the feet he's try to stand or the activity that that chi- that his child is doing first time it's like this so this become a ritual in one's family it was happening it's still this time it's happening that when the first child child is uh, trying to crawl or trying to get up so they are taking a lot of pictures or the just they doing calling some priest and pandit and they are doing swasti vachan and this was happening so mother yashoda was also doing the same but it observe a ritualistic ceremony with her friends for the good fortune of the child and this happens this meaning of all these doings that my child should be away from all all bad things bad eyes uh healthy happy all the time so this becomes ritual for the fortune good fortune such a ritualistic ceremony is generally performed with ladies still today it's happening in india who also have small children and the same type of lady you see as i said before at this all ceremony where is uh, connected other ladies also have the same small child and their baby also little bit just they start to move or just start to crawl then this all become a ceremony oh my child crawl first time oh my child stand stood up first time like this when mother ishoda saw that krishna was falling asleep because of other engagements she put the child underneath a household cot krishna was maybe somewhere at the higher place but she was engaged somewhere to do things so she put krishna under the cart when krishna was sleeping and this cart name was sakata and while the child was sleeping krishna was sleeping she engaged herself in other business pertaining to the auspicious ritualistic ceremony because the krishna moved or crawled first time she was busy to do many many things underneath the cart was a cradle there was a cradle baby cradle and mother ishoda placed the child in that cradle the cart was little high and the mother ishoda put krishna and this cradle was somehow hanging with this the, the bottom part of this cart and she put krishna in that cradle the child was sleeping but suddenly he awakened and krishna was sleeping at time but suddenly he awakened and as usual for a child began to kick his small legs like generally the child the infant do this kicking shook the cart it collapsed with a great sound and this baby krishna kicking shook the cart and the soon this cart collapsed with a great sound breaking completely and spilling all its content 
wheel was somewhere the front part of brake and gone somewhere middle part of this car broken and gone, gone somewhere it happened like this this means totally this car was destroyed the same thing happens with us folks when we join krishna when we join radharani then the everything breaks all barriers are break, broken those who are unnecessarily there when we understand the love of radharani that really what is the meaning of love all barriers of rules and regulations breaks and only pure love is there that we also can achieve with our practice and here would not be wrong to say that not only practice mercy of sri lanka gurudev also without taking shelter of gurudev guru maharaj gurudev it is not possible if we want really gurudev always saying this navigation will show us where to go and how to doing what if someone thinks that alone he can cover this path on its personal entrance i will say just a foolishness nothing else it is very clearly said in shastra without guru without spiritual master without a bona fide elevated spiritual practitioner it is not siddha it is not possible children who were playing nearby immediately in fort mother yashoda that the card had broken other children were there and they were playing and when it happened they run and in fort mother yashoda that the sakata is broken and therefore she has hastily arrived there in great anxiety with the other gopis she was full of anxiety because krishna was there hanging with the bottom part of this cart and if this cart is broken what happened with krishna mother yashoda immediately took the child on her lap and allowed him to suck her breast generally mother do something happens with child if the child is crying they just hold the child in the in their lap and start giving sucking the breast then various types of vedic ritualistic ceremonies were performed with the help of brahmanas so when something hilarious hilarious like this happens or dangerous unexpected generally mother or shoda also started thinking like no oh, something is wrong it's some kind of spirit or some kind of atma some preta or some ghost is there who is doing something wrong with my child and then she called brahmanas for the a particular ceremony for all this happened not knowing the real identity of the child the brahmanas showed the child 
with blessing. The Brahmins, they were not knowing about this child. Who is he actually? They were not knowing that he is Krishna. So I am Bhagwan. But they bless the child and they go. Another day when Mother Ishoda was sitting with her child on her lap, she suddenly observed that he had assumed the weight of the entire universe. One day when Mother Ishoda was sitting, having Krishna in her lap, she felt that so much heaviness, like the whole weight of heaviness is there on her. She was so astonished that she had to put the child down and as a whirlwind and took the child away. And in the meantime, sorry, she was to assume that she had to put the child down. And in the meantime, Trinavrata, one of the servants of Kamsa, appeared there as a whirlwind and took the child away. With this spinning wave, this happened. And this spinning wheel took the Krishna with this and ran away. The same thing if we are not conscious. Then our this Trinavarta, our man, will take away us somewhere. where we really no need to go. The whole tract of land known as Gokula becomes surcharged with dust. So this demon was with spinning wind like a cyclone. And the whole tract of land known as Gokula becomes surcharged with dust. It's completely there was only dust and dust in Gokula. No one could see where the child. In the darkness of the this dusty storm, nobody was able to see where the child and where the where he took the child. And all the gopis were overwhelmed because he had been taken away in the dust storm. But up in the sky, the Asura, being overburdened by the child, when this Ranavarta took Krishna up high in the sky, there this Asura, this demon, started feeling that something is becoming very heavy and heavy in his body. Being overburdened by the child could not carry the child far away. Although he also could not drop the child because the child had caught him so tightly that it was difficult for him to separate the child. <laughs> now the weight is increasing and I want to the child, the child should leave and throwing child and run away it also not become possible. Krishna started increasing his weight more and more, more and more. And when Trinavarta was trying, was not able. So here when we keep, if we increase our load, positive, the load of goodness, load of positive thinking, Load of goodness means all goodness is here. When we try to keep,
then automatically it, this Trinavarta become lighter. The different thinking in mind became lighter when we decrease the good thinking in our mind more and more, positive thinking more and more. Spiritual idea more and more when we increase. Then the idea of Trinavarta already become you feel heaviness and want to quit. But this goodness idea is so heavy, he cannot. So slowly this idea, this type of Trinavarta mind disappears. And the continuous presence of goodness, positiveness, uh, humbleness, all good qualities. When increase in this mind automatically, the Trinavarta cannot, it is not possible for Trinavarta to hold this burden. As I said, that good people always need good people's association. Vaishnava always need Vaishnava's association. To keeping them in mood there that they can to keep them away from any kind of deviation in their spiritual life. The Pope is very overwhelmed because he had been taken away in the dust storm. But up in the sky, the Asura being overburdened. Now Krishna increased his lot of weight. So he became the overburden for them. And he was not he was not able to carry the child far away. Although he also could not drop the child because the child had caught him so tightly. Krishna was holding Trinavarta so tightly. So the goodness hold the badness tightly that you have to go for pulling, holding for what? Just pulling and throwing out the bad ideas you have to go. Now we are here. This is our house. Really this is our house. There is no place for you. But up in this sky, the Asura being overwhelmed, man could not carry the child forever. Although he also could not drop the child because the child had caught him so tightly that it was difficult for him to separate the child from his body. Thus, Trinavarta himself fell down. A very great height, the child grasping him tightly by the shoulder. When Krishna was falling down, Trinavarta, sorry, was falling down, Krishna holding him, Trinavarta very tightly. And then what happened? This Trinavarta Asura immediately died. The demon Having fallen, the demon having fallen, the gopis picked the child up and delivered him to the lap of Mother Yashoda. Thus Mother Yashoda was struck with wonder. But because of Yogamaya's influence, it was in the Leela time, Yogamaya works for Krishna. So this influence was there also on the Mother Yashoda. No one could understand who Krishna was and what had actually happened. Rather, everyone began to praise fortune for the child's having been saved from such a calamity, Nanda Maharaj, of course, was thinking of the wonderful foretelling of Vasudeva and began to praise him as a great yogi.
Now, all started praising with the good fortune of the child. Very nice child. Having being saved from such calamity, Nanda Maharaj, of course, was the thinking of the wonderful foretelling of Vasudeva. Now, Nanda Maharaj again started thinking that this, uh, what the, whatever the forecast done by Vasudeva Maharaj was coming, everything will be good. The things will happen, but you will be saved. Nanda Maharaj, of course, he was thinking of the wonderful foretelling of Vasudeva and began to praise him as a great yogi. Later, when the child was on the lap of Mother Yashoda, the child yawned and Mother Yashoda could see within his mouth the entire universal manifestation. Understand who, who Krishna was and what had actually happened. Rather, everyone began to praise fortune for the child's having been saved from such a calamity. Nanda Maharaj, of course, was thinking of the wonderful foretelling of Vasudeva and began to praise him as a great yogi. Later, when the child was on the lap of Mother Yashoda, the child yawned, opened his mouth, and Mother Yashoda could see within his mouth the entire universal manifestation. Text first into Sri Rajo Vacha Yen Yenavatar in Bhagwan Hari Dishura Karoti Karana Ramiani Manogyani in Chana Prabhu Yakshinvato Petya Tri Bitrishnaha Satam Chasudyat Chirena Punsa Bhakti Harota Purchecha Sakyam Radeva Haram Bhadvanit Se Chita King Parikshit said, My Lord, Sudeva Goswami, all the various activities exhibited by the incarnation of the Supreme Personality of Godhead are certainly pleasing to the ear and to the mind. Simply by one's hearing of these activities, the dirty things in one's mind immediately vanish. Cleaning process. That's why Gurudev is saying all the time, Shravanam, listening, more and more listening. Also the process of purifying. Simply by one's hearing of these activities, simply by one hearing, just sit down and listen. The dirty things in one's mind immediately vanished. Why vanish? Because with Sakrasuru gone near Krishna, he delivered. Krishna killed him. But at the same time, deliverance is there. All his past karma, dirt, gone. And when he took birth, he took birth somewhere to not to come back. Generally, we are reluctant to hear about the activities of the Lord. But Krishna's childhood activities are so attractive that they are automatically pleasing to the mind and ear. That's why he said we no need to do much. We just need to hear, listen. But Krishna's childhood activities are so attractive but Krishna's childhood activities are so attractive that they are automatically pleasing 
to the mind and ear. Thus, one's attachment for hearing about material things, which is the root cause of material existence, vanishes and one gradually develops devotional service to the Supreme Lord. Attachment for Him and friendship with devotees who give us the contribution of Krishna consciousness. If you think it fit, kindly speak about those activities of the Lord. All activities of Krishna's are attractive. It's attracting, pulling. That's why listening becomes important. It pulls. It attracts means pulling towards him. And not only pulling. It's pulling your mind and at the same time cleaning also. And it is automatically pleasing to the mind and ear. That's the one adjustment for hearing about material things. It's the root cause of material existence. So it, it depends upon us that which, which weight we want to make more. Going more and more in material things, being involved in money, then the weight of this material existence will go high and high. Or the going in the spiritual and getting this weight that this material burden will be become more or less and less. It upon us. Lord attachment for him and friendship with devotees who give us the contribution. Of Krishna consciousness, if you think to fit, kindly speak about those activities of the Lord. Purport. As stated in the Prema Vivarta, Krishna Bahir Mukha Hayya Hoga Vancha Kare Nikatastha Maya Tare Japatiya Dhare. Our material existence is Maya. Our material existence is Maya or illusion in which we desire different varieties of material enjoyment. Mm. All amenities should be there. Varieties of material enjoyment and therefore change of different varieties of bodies. As much desire, as much different body we will get. Because at the time of death, the desire automatically comes what we think our whole life. It is said that at the end of the time of the death when you take the name that you are deli delivered. No, it's not like that. It's really not like that. It's totally different. What we think most of the time in our life and what we do most of the time in our life, we change this body accordingly. Different, different kind of varieties of desire uh, desire of material existence, enjoyment. That's why different varieties of bodies. Brahman and Sarva Bhutani, Yantaraudhani, Mayaya, Asan Api Klesheda, Asadeha. As long as we have these temporary bodies, these temporary bodies, which, whatever, wherever we are going in, which, which form, doesn't matter. Only the human body is not temporary. All bodies, all different kind of jivas, these, these, these are temporary existence bodies. They give us many varieties of tribulation. 
अध्यात्मिका अधिभौतिका एंड आधी देविका आध्यात्मिक आधिभौतिक आधी देविक दिस इज द रूट कॉज ऑफ ऑल सफरिंग बट दिस रूट कॉज ऑफ सफरिंग कैन बी रिमूव्ड बाय रिवाइवल ऑफ आवर कृष्णा कॉन्सियसनेस यू जस्ट टू रिवाइव यू नो नीड टू डू समथिंग न्यू बिफोर ऑल्सो इन मेनी लाइफ वी डिड इट मीन्स रिवाइवल मीन्स दिस इज नॉट द फर्स्ट टाइम we became so many we became indra also became brahma also became king of the some place so it's not like that so this is the root cause of all suffering but this root cause of suffering can be removed by revival of krishna consciousness all the vedic literatures presented by vyasa deva and other great sages are therefore intended to revive our krishna consciousness which begins to revive with shravana kirtanam shranvatam swakatah krishna all the vedic literatures are presented by vyas deva and other great sages are therefore intended to revive our krishna consciousness we forgotten completely totally forgotten deleted which begins to revive with shravan kirtanam shravantam swakata krishna shrimad bhagavatam and other vedic shrimad bhagavatam and other vedic literatures exist simply to give us a chance to hear about krishna krishna has different avatars or incarnations all of which are wonderful and which arouse one's inquisitiveness but generally such avatars as matsya kurma and varaha are not as attractive as krishna first of all however we have no attraction for hearing about krishna we want to listen something good music film song that is giving your material satisfaction and this is the root cause of our suffering no matter if you don't have any attraction or intention or have feeling towards krishna then suffer keeping you up yourself away from krishna or radharani means suffering that's it and if someone wants to come out of this suffering they have to relate they have to connect them with radha and krishna radha and mohan but parikshit maharaj specifically mentions that the wonderful activities of baby krishna which amazed mother yashoda and the other inhabitants of braja are especially attractive parikshit maharaj is mentioning here the wonderful activities of baby krishna so please mother yashoda as well as other brajavasi also from the very beginning of his childhood krishna killed putana trinavarta chakrasura and showed the entire universe within his mouth so he is there and making it clear but it is not not like, not like that he is also checking that even after knowing about me completely are they believing this or not if i am trying to show something about me that who am i are these brajwasi or my mother or nand maharaj are really ready to accept this or not that who am i krishna wanted this to show that 
let check there how much they have love for me he was only checking with all these activities between big sir with savana kirtan okay let's go does the past times of krishna one after another kept mother yashoda and all the inhabitants of raja in great astonishment not only this one after another every day one new leela he was doing so the whole raja with mother yashoda anand baba was in astonishment the process to revive once krishna consciousness is adav sardha तथा साधु संघ भक्ति रसामृत सिंधु द फास्ट टाइम्स ऑफ कृष्णा कैन बी प्रॉपरली रिसीव फ्रॉम डिवोटीज नॉट फ्रॉम नॉन डिवोटीज दिस शुड बी वेरी क्लियर हु इज नॉट डिवोटी इज नॉट पॉसिबल फॉर हिम और हर if one has developed a little bit of krishna consciousness by hearing from vaishnavas about the activities of krishna one becomes attached to vaishnavas who are interested only in krishna consciousness who is only interested in krishna consciousness therefore prakshit maharaj recommends that one year about krishna's childhood activities which are more attractive than the activities of other incarnation it generally it happens when a baby perform something is activities is sweet because is an infant is no impurity is there in the mind of a child then at that time when he does definitely it is attractive and when these all all activities performing by krishna so what we can say this is the mo- most attractive I think that's it for today. Arti time is there. Arti calling me. Thank you very much. Tolerate. Sundaram ji. I'm trying to develop my reading. So, as Guru Dev said that. day by day you have to improve and more make need to make it more attractive that people can take interest i'm not a big scholar knowing so many different words and makings but yeah this is a good thing that if i develop and people will people take main people take in interest then definitely it's good for all but only for me i will be able to say through me radharani want to do something and i pray radharani that if she gives me some little intellect mind i don't have i will be able to do something improve it more and more by their efforts not my my efforts i don't know what is the meaning of effort and what is effort that is not inside me from here i am totally empty by the mercy of gurudeva by the mercy of radharani i i will be able to do something personally if i think to do something i don't have anything it is very clear that all devotees should know this that i am gurudev saying very clearly that every day is learning so definitely those devotees are there in all classes in every day zoom meeting they are always teaching me very nicely i am and, and i am trying to become a good student still all of yours 
trying to learn something that i should also get some develop my saying qualities to that uh, can bring more and more devotees on the path of this spirituality if radharani wants possible gurudev wants possible it's not my effort it's not my strength it's not my ability that i can do something by the mercy of other vaisnavas it is possible thank you very much for today jai jai shri radhe